This video will cover custom office templates. You would use a custom office template if you have certain language that you insert into a form or your office requires that you structure your form in a certain way or you make the same change every single time and want to start off with those changes already in your document. Office templates are public to everyone in your office. So if there's proprietary information, it would be better to use the copy process and copy that transaction to keep that information private. But if you do want to make an office template for everyone to use, you can go up here and click on templates. I'm going to make a copy of a listing agreement for you today. So you would select the master and click copy. This office template description will identify its use. So for today's purpose, I'm just going to put demo and then copy the template. And I'm going to launch a print preview so that I can view all of my changes as I'm working. I'm going to hop back into the library and click edit template content. And I think I'm going to add some text here. So I'll click on the add component. And save. I'm going to add a couple line breaks. And let's say that I don't like this sentence and I remove it for every transaction. So I'm going to strike it. And if I need to change this language here, I'm going to make it sellers, for example. Okay. And then when I'm all done making my changes, I'm going to click done. And click over to my preview here and refresh it. Make sure it's listed how I want it to be. That looks good. And then to make this accessible by all my office members, I have to publish it. So I'll go up here to edit and click published and then save. And then I can add it as a regular document. So I'm going to go to my transactions, select this top one here and add documents. I'm going to go ahead and search for it. You can see that I named it demo. So this is the one here, add it. And then I can go ahead and open it up make sure that it's my document and edit it like normal.